you know, we, we're talking about like researching, hiring people to, to yeah. study industries, ask questions. It, it kind of brings up a good point or a good question. Marketers oftentimes, not often, but sometimes have like bad reputations of you just talking heads. You just, sure. <clears throat> you just, you just talk and you charge money and, and you do nothing. Like how mm-hmm. are, how, what is marketing? What is the value of marketing? I always start with return on investment. That's what marketing is, ROI. Yeah. Um, if, if, you, if your marketing partner doesn't have an ROI plan in place, like what is this project going to do? In measurable data in measurable, points. Yeah. And it, it doesn't necessarily have to translate into direct sales, but because branding is the end-to-end experience of that client when they first hear about you to when they are happily uh, finished with the uh, product, you know, service. Yeah, product service, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. in your case, it'd be the final walkthrough, you know, <laughs> the, the, uh, you know, from the time that they first, if it's a referral, if they see a billboard, if they hear a radio ad, if they hear a podcast or watch a podcast, mm-hmm. the branding is all of these layers of, of uh, communication of impression of, of uh, cultivation of trust that uh, we are working really, really hard to, uh, to guide the consumers through that process. Um, and it is really, truly just storytelling. I mean, yeah. I think marketers overcomplicate things. They get into all the, the data points and especially with the internet and the, you know, digital marketing, we get lost in the weeds of, oh, well, you know, out, out in this region, we saw, you know, an 18% spike in web traffic. Mm-hmm. But then I want to know, well, how, you know, were they... Yeah, was that actionable? Were did they, they yeah, the did website? they jump did they on and leave? leave? I mean, what was the click-through? Maybe it was incentive-based. Maybe there's, you know, a contest and that's all they care about. And they, they didn't connect with the brand. Mm-hmm. I mean, I it's all about that connection and can you then... Uh, convert those interested people to clients. So is that is that the distinction between marketing and sales, or what? So sales to me, and and I do. I mean, if I'm starting a new project with a a, a client that has a big enough organization that they have a sales department, that's mm-hmm. where I start. Uh, that's my first research uh, pool. Is I, I go and speak with the, the sales folks. Mm-hmm. What are their what do they use? What are their tools? Who are they talking to? How do they prospect? What are their sticking points? Like yeah. where are people yeah. jumping off? What are the off? obstacles? Exactly. Uh, when does a prospect fall off and why? Um, sales is the the boots on the ground. Sure. Sales, the sales function are the people. And, and I mean, you're the salesman, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but you're also a marketing guy. Mm-hmm. And you are a creative guy, and you, you you're combining all all of these assets that you bring to the table to ultimately ultimately be the best salesman you can be. So, um, so could you know in, in the context of building, uh, you know, let's say a builder is listening to this, marketing gives you the content that the sales then executes or speaks. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, marketing's a pretty big word and it covers a lot of different things. Uh, same thing with branding. <laughs> I think people toss that word around and they don't necessarily understand what it means, but it it uh, it again comes back to making that that best first impression. That's really the 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 starting point of the brand experience. Um, and then the marketing components, pieces, uh, discipline. So, I mean, even PR can, can function as a marketing project. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we tend to take the editorial, uh, concepts out of the marketing department. Oh, that's PR that's over here. But it, you know, it's what part does PR it, stand for? Uh, public relations. Yep. So, um, and by public relations, we're also talking about media relations. So the relationships with the media, you know, guys like me, I have relationships with local media mm-hmm. and, and some national and regional. So you, you know, I'm selling to them. I'm pitching Kevin's story. Um, I'm pitching a, a feature segment, um, you know, a, a feature piece in Star Telegram. I mean, those 
efforts can uh, make the biggest impact because it's third party endorsement. Yeah. You know, if you get written about or, what or, seems to be like a neutral objective third party, like the news, so <laughs> much of the news right, is right. Oh, there's so much of it that's connected, that's, and, uh, yeah. sponsored yeah. Is, yeah. is the word they use. You know, tonight's weather is sponsored by Southern Oak Custom Homes. Mm, yeah. Yes. And then, you know, on Good Morning Texas, Kevin's on, uh, t- you know, chatting with the, one of the anchors about the uh, recession or, you know. And that's, what, do you, are you, when a company hires you to go, uh, do they hire you basically for your contacts to get you Oh, yeah. Into- well, contacts and, and uh, expertise and experience and just knowing how the system works but and also, when to do what yeah like how the dominoes would yeah fall. but the yeah marketer is almost a producer is also you are is a, a connector producer. not yeah. just a creative like right. logo and image yeah you know when i you know the name of my firm murray branding people kind of get to the assumption that i'm a logo guy and that's true mm-hmm. i am a logo guy but that is only the tip of that iceberg you know a branding strategy doesn't start and end with a logo. A logo is just a design element that represents the company. So right. there's so much more that goes into it. So yeah, back to that storytelling. Uh, how do we want to tell the story? This is one way. I mean, you are producing a podcast that tells the story, but you know, here we, you know, we're making it. Um, it's not just about Southern Net Custom Homes. You know, this is a just a conversation we're having with each other, mm-hmm. with anyone who's tuning in. 